Hey, what's up? This is Scott with Love Love Tuts, and today I'm going to show you how to set up UPS shipping on your Magento site. In the last lesson, we did free shipping, table rates, and flat rate. If you don't know how to get to shipping, it's under System Configuration, and then down here, uh, just down here under Sales, it's under Shipping Methods. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to click to uh, open this UPS shipping, and first thing we're going to do is enable this, so we'll check this to be yes, um, UPS type, uh, UPS Parcel Service or UPS Parcel Service XML, we're going to leave it as that. Um, the title, we'll just change this to UPS because that's what people are going to notice anyways. You don't have to have them read United Parcel Service when they go to check out. This gateway URL, you're not going to want to change this. This is the uh, the gateway to where it's going to be getting the prices for the shipping. So just leave that the same. Um, yeah, just don't, don't touch it. Um, and then now package request type, um, divide to equal weight or uh, use origin weight. So this is like, this is basically if you're sending one request to UPS and it's um, going to have all of the weights together, or this is the uh, few requests with the different weights. I'll just leave it as um, one request. If I were you, I'd probably try it different ways. And uh, if shipping be, is accurate to what it actually is when you're taking to UPS, um, then if it isn't, then you can always adjust it to whatever works best for your store container is uh, whatever you're pretty much going to be sending stuff in. Uh, customer packaging is probably going to be what you're sending stuff in unless you're sending, I mean, everything is the exact same. So uh, I would select customer packaging unless you know that it's all going to be one of these. And now weight unit, pounds if you're in the US, um, kilograms if you're in anywhere else. Uh, maximum package weight, this is in pounds, so 150 pounds is the maximum. Um, so it says contact your carrier. Like I said, you cannot, I mean, you can't just determine that yourself. That's something that UPS, you'll probably want to go over with them, but 150 is the default, so we'll just leave it. Uh, pickup method, customer counter, um, you know, regular daily pickup. This would be something that you would have an agreement with UPS if you work with them regularly, if they're going to be doing a regular daily pickup. I'm going to leave it at customer counter because we can just drop them off. Minimum package weight is less than a pound. Okay, fine. Um, Calculate handling fee. Handling is going to be, you can be fixed or a percent. You can have it be a percent of the total price or fixed per order. Okay, per package, you can even do it. Um, but, you know, your handling, whatever, we'll put it $2. And these are the allowed methods. Um, you can select or deselect as many of these as you like. If you only want one of them, you can just click one. If you want multiples, you can hold command if you're on a Mac and click different ones, hold shift. Um, to select all of them like that. Okay, so free method. Um, if you want a free shipping method, you know it says ground selected, but if you don't want to have an option for a free shipping method, you can click down. You know how Amazon sometimes has like five to eight day shipping is free and you just have to wait for it. So you can have that. I'm having it set to none. Free shipping with minimum order amount. So you can get a, a free shipping if you spend $100 or something. So you could say, if you spend 100 bucks, you get free shipping. We're going to disable that for now. This is the error message. The shipping method is unavailable. Okay. Uh, you can just customize that to whatever you'd be. I usually don't even touch that stuff. Um, allowed countries. I'm going to select specific countries. Shipping to all these countries might be difficult. Um, depends on what you're selling. Um, but I'm just going to ship to United States only. Um, sorry, everybody else. And then, so show method if not applicable, like I said before, I don't know why you'd you know want to show this if it wasn't applicable. Maybe if you just want to have people know what sort of options are out there, but I'm going to leave that as being no. And uh, debug, and I said no. Sort order, uh, since we already have the other one, but we want this to be the first one, I'll put it as zero. And then uh, if we go back to our flat rate, which we enabled, I can set this sort order to one so that our table rate shows up on top. Let's save this configuration and let's see this in action, okay? So let's go to our checkout here. We already had this checkout from before. I'm going to refresh this and uh, it's going to make me do all this stuff again. So just give me one second. I'm going to type in my information. Okay, and if you select ship to a different address, like I said before, it's going to allow you to put in a different address, your shipping information, but we're going to ship to this address. So it's going to copy this stuff, fill it in under shipping information, move it on to the next step. Okay, shipping method. So here uh, you can see UPS is now first and it's going to give them the price options that it got from UPS's uh, website itself. 
So ground is going to be 13, uh, 30 day air. Like I said, see how there's so many options here. You don't usually get this many options from websites. That would be changed back in here. Let's close these um, right down here. So if we only selected one of these, they would only see whichever ones you select. But these are the only ones that are applicable, so it's only showing these. Or free shipping looks like it's enabled as well. Uh, we didn't turn that one off. So if I was the customer right now, I'd be selecting free shipping. However, um, you can select UPS, click continue, and it's going to ask for their payment. Cool. So that is now displaying their shipping method, UPS ground. When they place this order, it's going to show up in your store. So let's actually place this order. Click continue. And now here's our whole thing, order review. We bought this keyboard. It's expensive and it is $13.30 for shipping, a grand total. Place order is the last button you click before order is submitted. Um, and since I selected cash, because that's an option in here, um, it's not going to make me put in any sort of information. This is going to expect that I'm sending cash and this order isn't going to ship until that cash arrives. However, um, you know, that's another thing if you're thinking about your store, if you want to accept cash like that or not, you could have all sorts of orders come through and people are never ex even going to send cash. So you just want to, you know, be co uh, cognizant of that, you know. Um, okay, so this order is purchased. Let's click continue shopping. It's going to keep you, uh, you know, take you right back here to the front of the store. But let's go to our store. Let's go to orders and let's check that out. Um, it's under sales, orders. Here it is came through and it's select to pending okay and if we go to our dashboard um, it's going to come in here um, only after it's through when it's no longer pending last five orders is right here um, one dollar one item and that's our grand total okay cool so in the next lesson we're going to go over what happens now let's say an order comes in on your store what are you going to do okay uh, and then we'll go over tax and a whole bunch of other stuff. I mean, there's there's absolutely a ton to go over. Magento has all sorts of great options and is a really great platform. So if you have any questions or comments, please leave a comment on the video. Hit us up at Twitter at LevelUpTuts. Let us know what you're thinking. Once again, this is Scott, and thanks for watching.